continue to digest and analyze the IMSA 2021 risk report, let's get a view now from uh, Melanie Romalo, who is Sales and Marketing Director at LexisNexis. Melanie, welcome. First of all, let's take a broad overview, if we can, of the report. Uh, what struck you? What are the highlights? Uh, thank you, Jeremy. What struck me was the... Um, the few points that I picked up the focus on the necessity for risk-based decision-making in achieving our strategies, not only as companies, but as a country as a whole. And then the impact and the lessons that the risk community and the broader South Africa has gleaned from our response to COVID-19 pandemic, especially when confronting ongoing volatile scenarios and global risk impacts. COVID-19 has demonstrated in no uncertain terms that every one of us, individual, organizations and country is much more integrated, Jeremy, into the global system that we previously thought. This shows the interconnectedness of the nature of risk and the need to collectively manage current and emerging risk as corporates, governance, governments and communities as part of our global village to achieve a better overall outcome. The risk report is quite clear that as public and private sector entities, we can no longer operate in our bubbles or our silos. We must work together. Ubuntu, Jeremy. In fact... I, I couldn't agree with you more that that whole notion of integration is, yes. is absolutely critical. And let's hope that people uh, take up the, uh, the recommendations that are contained in that report. You were going to finish? Just uh, finish that thought for me. I quickly. wanted to quote Clem Santa from the, uh, the report, as he pointed out and he said, risk management has expanded from an executive tool into a corporate world to a household tool used every day by the ordinary people to go about their lives. I thought that was very striking um, in the report for me. Melanie Romalo, let's look further at the report if we can. Um, you've articulated a, a critical aspect of it, and I, I'm, I'm glad that you've articulated the power and the and the, the importance of integration. What about surprises? Was there anything there that uh, you looked at and said, well, boy, I didn't know that? Um, Jeremy, for me, not so many surprises, but a huge jolt of urgency to note the seriousness of the scenarios outlined around education, fraud and corruption, um, and leadership, you know, um, which is the three top risks in the report that related to those, those are the three for me that stood out and that um, is asking us to be exceptionally serious and to take, and as they, as they called us to action, to step up. Um, to me, that says we have seriously lost our way in terms of being guided by the rule of law, um, and which is something that we at LexisNexis stand for. In our view, nobody, not even in the most se senior positions, is above the law, and there needs to be accountability and consequence management in place where organizations and leaders have failed in terms of these areas. Legal and regulatory compliance is paramount, Jeremy. People need to know the law as it pertains to their sphere of influence and uphold it. Otherwise, we will continue to find ourselves in a position of vulnerability. Um, yeah. Well, Melanie, I'm, I'm just as you're talking to me, I'm, I'm just looking at your very impressive pedigree. And I read that you have close to 30 years of experience. <laughs> Uh, you've operated at board and executive level. Doesn't look like that uh, from from a, from an age perspective, but uh, let's let's not talk about that. But you 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 understand the importance of risk uh, at at board and executive level. There is a greater uh, uh, propensity now for boards to take this a lot more seriously. In your opinion, then, how is risk management? in 2021, in the middle of this pandemic, enabling you in your particular role? How is it empowering you, in other words? Um, it's always something that's been in my DNA as I've learned the world of corporate, but also just business. And uh, being part of a board and an executive team, it's a daily, it's something we that as leadership, it was something we spoke about every every meeting, shall I be honest. And then um, as the COVID pandemic hit us, it certainly changed the role 
that the way we think about it. And the risk report is showing us how we can enable by using risk-based decision-making. It's so important uh, because of the uncertainty that we face on a daily basis. And it certainly has come in, in a larger scale than ever before in our history. And it is something everybody is battling with. And therefore using risk management-based approach enables us to make the right decision from a board level to an executive level, right down to every employee in the organization, especially that we were forced to work from home and the risks uh, uh, landscape changed dramatically because we had to use technology in ways we've never used it before. We were forced into it. So yes, certainly um, it, has, it has enabled me and Putting it first on my list of things that I think about, it has helped me as a sales and marketing director to um, mitigate for those risks that comes up from a people, from a business perspective, and from a country perspective as how to keep us sustainable and ongoing. Your, your, your thoughts are very, very valuable. I want to end this conversation on a more practical note, if we can. Um, this is an impressive document. An enormous amount of work has gone into it. Um, to the members of the risk community that are engaging in this discussion, how would you recommend to them that they use this report, not only as a resource, but a living uh, daily resource uh, in making that uh, the, the, those risk-based management decisions? Thank you, Jeremy, for that question. I was thinking about that yesterday. Um, the IMSA risk report is a blueprint that we could proactively use in managing our risk. Um, for our organization, for any organization, it's about being proactive rather than reactive as we strive to create a resilient and sustainable organization in our countries. As a legal technology, um, our very business is directly positioned to help our clients to address many of areas identified as risk in this report, including the leadership capacity, governance and risk compliance, disruptive technologies, and the fourth industrial revolution. Both internally and externally, we, fo we focus on ensuring that our clients have the right tools in intelligence data, which the report is showing us how to use data insights in the scenarios that they've showed us and to integrate that into the resources and effectively mitigate the identified risks and ensure compliance with the law. Technology and digital cap capabilities are key, as the report has highlighted to us. There are, there are skills and competencies required for us to upskill and to change the way we look at business from a diversity of human resources and thinking approaches. Knowing key aspects of the law, coupled with the right risk management technology, as the report highlights to us, provides our organizations with clarity of the message they need based on the facts that help to calculate and measure decisions. Um, so at Lexus South Africa, we are committed in working with the community of risk professionals to meet the challenges of the current environment as well amid the spirit of great uncertainty, which is why we partner with OMSA as well. We are pre prepared to respond to the OMSA call to action as a collective and to contribute to the ability of South Africa. As the president said, with all of that energy, as you said yesterday, step up. We need to step up. Public and private sectors as citizens, we need to build this future together. And I'm delighted to see that our finance minister in the budget speech actually highlighted those three risks that we saw in the OMSA report as well and focusing on that. But we need to keep them accountable. We need to keep ourselves responsible in creating unemployed, uh, employment for the unemployed youth and to create um, an ethical um, leadership and take responsibility. So thank you, Jeremy. Those were um, the highlights to your questions. And I certainly appreciate the energy that you brought to this conversation. Melanie Ramalo, Sales and Marketing Director at LexisNexis. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.